हेलो गाइज वेलकम एंड आज वेलकम बैक एंड आज हम इस वीडियो में देखेंगे रिमेनिंग थ्री पॉइंट्स विच आर नॉट कवर्ड इन लास्ट वीडियो लाइक आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू वॉट आर दे आई थिंक वट वी हैव कवर्ड इन लास्ट लास्ट वीडियो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी आर लुकिंग एट स्क्रीन्स इन स्क्रीन्स वी uh did activate previous screen activate screen activate screen by number then we are in this video we are going to show show three features like show pop up screen show pop up screen by si sizable and show slide in screen some of them are covered in my previous videos like slide in screen and pop up screen how to cover so but i am going to show you how we create and all this thing so stay tuned i have already added one thing pop up screen how to activate a pop up screen first of all we will go we have in screen management we have template template is nothing but we can create a template like uh, if we have uh, what we say we make a uh, when we make a uh, a car or a a product car as a product for example for that we prepare something before that as a template means a demo demo model like that so template is nothing but a a exact replica of hmi we are going to Uh, look in template we create a uh, means for a new new feature in a gadi like to uh, led uh, headlamp or a roof roof window there is a so they are the new features likewise we can add in a template we can add in template if i want to add somewhere a date and time i want to add a menu on every screen screen then i have to add into template likewise then we have a pop up screen that we are going to discuss in pop up screen how to create a pop up screen just add new pop up screen i have created one calculation screen uh, what is this milk uh, i have given a io field milk powder i have given io field 0.0 teaspoon sugar cubes and coffee these are the simple recipe of uh, coffee making i have added over here and this is a close button for a close button what is the property we give show pop up screen and uh, name name of the screen what is the name of the screen calculation we have created and here in animation we need to keep it uh, in display mode we need to keep it as a off so it will close the pop up screen to close uh, pop up screen we need to use this feature okay uh, after that how to call that pop up screen so calling that pop up screen what we create over here you can see pop up pop up screen button to call a pop up screen uh in that uh on a space what we give show pop up screen and name of the uh screen pop up screen x y direction we keep it as a zero if you want uh, that pop up screen in the middle of screen then you have to add some x y x y coordination for that if you need a pop up screen on a specific location you can add the x y x y location on a mode you need to keep it as a toggle okay so we are not going to change other features uh so we will monitor this feature in our hmi if i cal you can see on 0 0 x and 0 y i will i get my pop screen so if i want to close i can close from here okay now uh if i want to our second feature of a pop up screen is show pop up screen size sizeable it is same as 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 the pop up 
pop up screen normal pop up screen but here we can select the width and height height of the pop up screen in first feature we don't have to uh, we don't have that feature to select width width and height uh, in in show pop up screen we can select only pop up screen we have to define our uh, width and height but here we get the uh, means we can resize that pop up screen we can minimize also and maximize that also means we have a scroll scroll down scroll 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 feature also added in it so if my x y direction i can select my x y direction uh, and if my pop up screen is 200 by 200 and if i uh, here if i if i keep my width and height as a 150 then i get one scroll scroll bar to scroll my screen pop up screen so it is resizable nothing nothing important but if you have a small screen then you you want to op uh, open a multiple pop up screen for that you need a, a scroll down feature in it so this is the simple one and i can show you here but i have not uh, but i have used the full screen and you can see the my location is uh, 200 by 500 my y location is 200 and x location is uh, 500 so i and i have given the same close feature okay so after that what we go, uh, what we going to see is the sliding screen so i have created the sliding screen on a setting setting here you can see a sliding screen okay on a menu what i have given feature show sliding screen on a screens where we get that feature on a screens this is the last feature of screens show sliding screen and once you selected the sliding screen you have to activate the sliding screen after the pop up pop up screen here is the sliding screen uh, we have four sliding screen top bottom left right so i have selected the the top one means it comes from top uh, top of the screen and you to activate that you have to enable enable that feature on on a property of a top top screen you have to enable enable it if you if you are not enable means you are not tick here then it will it feature will not uh, show on your uh, uh, what I say here you cannot uh, if you if you select here now you can select the top but if you select left it shows the specific sliding screen is not activated likewise you have to activate that screen and top is activated okay enable means activated okay on on a top top screen you can see you can add here a feature also like you can add button io field or whatever you want to add you can add here i have given the graphics as a activate screen and move back to my screen so you can add by any 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 type of screen so we'll see this feature also in online if i if i uh, go to my setting and if i click on menu you can see here uh, on a top top of the screen uh, one screen screen is pop up like if i now but if if you see the uh, both the screen have same same color because of that we cannot segregate the top screen and bottom screen but here is a scroll uh, we can see a scroll bar or whatever the we can a top notch we can say and if i click on graphics i will go go back to graphics likewise uh, and if you want to change this color you can change also if you click right click and go to the property and if you want to give a color like a normal this one and if you need to uh, minimize this one and again you have to you can change the color whatever you want okay so what we seen in this video we have seen the three features pop-up screen uh, pop-up screen with sizable and sliding screen so if you go to setting click on a menu you can see here the sliding screen and you can go to graphics 
this is a very premium feature you can use from here and in last video what we what we have seen a uh, activate screen after that previous screen you can go back to the previous screen like i have come to my graphics screen now uh, and screen by number if i if i put here a 4 or okay 4 and enter and give enter then i will go to my admin screen i don't have given means i don't give any any feature here to go back to my uh, previous screen or uh, go to the graphic screen so i cannot go go to my any screen from here because i have not given any button or anything so i have to close that okay then uh, i am going to wrap up my video over here but we have covered all the screen features in next video we are going to see more feature related to hmi so stay tuned uh, share with your friends subscribe the channel because it motivates me and like if you really uh, like means if you get uh, some information from my videos please like it like button because it also motivate me it gives me power to uh, come up with new energy and make new good videos related to gi portal or any automation series so i hope you have uh, enjoyed watching my videos <laughs> so thank you